Welcome to Spring Valley on this absolutely gorgeous fall evening. Tonight it's September 26th, just a couple days after the fall equinox, and we decided to celebrate it by having a new event called Trails and Ales. So we have 25 or so of our registrants walking from here through the prairie down to the cabin, to the pond, to the marsh. The whole idea was to highlight Spring Valley using bread and beer as our hook, so to speak. So we have at least five different local beers that are seasonal that we're serving in small amounts as the people walk from station to station and we have homemade breads that are paired with the beers and at the end of the evening they'll each receive a program which has the recipes for the breads and the names of the beers with a little write-up for each beer and where that beer can be purchased so join us next year when we do the same event trails and ales Okay, so I'm standing here at the end of Trails and Ales and wondering how the two of you, Gwen and Ron Pape, survived the evening. So a general question would be, are you still here? <laughs> we are, yes. It was great. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. What was your favorite part, the beer or the bread or the wonderful scenery here at Spring Valley? Um, we, we come here every, every once in a while. Well, we live pretty close, so we like, the, we like Spring Valley. He, um, but the beer was pretty good, and, and the, the combining with the bread was really nice, and that was new for us. I like the way you put Spring Valley first, then the bread, then the beer. That was really very nice. Gwen, what would you add or say? Um, I'm not really a beer drinker, but the bread made the beer really taste good. So the bread made the beer palatable, I guess you're saying. More than palatable. <laughs> More than palatable. So I guess the question would be, seeing as I'm the programmer here at Spring Valley, how did you hear about this particular program? Well, actually, I heard, it, heard about it from my wife. Um, and I got an email because I exercised through the Schomburg Park District. Okay, so you can say these emails help. Yeah. The PR does help, okay? It's always so hard to know. Is it the brochure? Is it Facebook? What exactly is it, you know? This is a first-time event, so we're really excited about it. Could we have asked for a nicer night? It was wonderful. Yeah. Nice, beautiful yeah. weather. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. perfect, perfect weather. What would you say to somebody who was thinking about coming and didn't come? Sign up quickly because I think it's going to fill up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we probably will sign up for next year because there's supposed to be different beers. Oh, they've already <laughs> promised you that, huh? And different uh, breads, and I suspect. Breads, exactly. Yeah. So what exactly did you do? I know you're out walking around and I was walking around or driving around finding you. What did you do when you got to a station? Um, uh, is it Kath, Katie? Mm -hmm. She uh, explained the beer that we were going to drink and a little bit about the bread, and then we all tried it. And what are you doing back here now? Um, we're sitting by a, by a campfire, and we got a, another beer <laughs> <laughs> and some more bread, and, and it, was, uh, it was very mellow. I guess my last question would have to be, seeing as how it's almost 7 o'clock at Noel, well, it's 6.10. Are you going out to supper after this? Well, I'm liking, I, I like the idea of going out to supper, but she doesn't. I'm done for the day, <laughs> but I'm hoping for a sunset. We're definitely going to promise a gorgeous sunset. We need a few clouds, though, so we get those beautiful colors. And tonight's the night of that super moon eclipse, so this is going to be a special night all the way around. Wow. It's, it's Sunday morning, which would be tonight, from what I can figure okay. out. Oh. All right, so your final words to the people watching us through the, uh, the Park District Channel would be what? It's a, a nice event. It's, it's a good one. And Watch for this to be scheduled again. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh.
Okay, so now I'm standing here with James and Lisa who live right next door to Spring Valley. And this is an exciting time for them. It's a week before they get married and this was their calm before the storm, so to speak. So I guess I'll have to ask, was it a calming evening or not? Uh, yeah, it was a beautiful evening. It couldn't get better weather. Uh, I thought it was a great idea. Katie did a great job teaching me things I didn't even know. I've been over here for many years, so it's a lot of fun to see what the little, what the bugs do to the plants is actually more amazing to me than anything else. But uh, perfect weather and a really good crew. So that's an interesting thing. It was supposed to be about breads and ale, <laughs> but you like about bugs. Very good. You know, we had another B in there. Be breads, beer. <laughs> bugs, whatever, you know, as I said, this was just a gimmick to get you out and enjoy the prairie. So, Lisa, tell us about your impression of the event. Oh, I thought it was great. I keep telling Katie, this was by far one of the coolest things we've done out here. Um, yeah, we've come to other events. I know Jim has more. I've only lived in the area a couple months, but, um, you know, by far one of the coolest events this place has had. So we really enjoyed it. We hope you guys do it again. <laughs> that sounds so cool. You know, really. What made it? Was it Katie? Was it the area, the prairie, the beautiful night? Was it the beer, the bread? What, what a combination, all well, of the above. But I think what I liked is Katie talked a lot about the beers as well as as we're walking around, point out things about the prairie that we didn't even know, the, some of the history and everything. So it was a good combination of education and and drinking. <laughs> and just relaxing and drinking. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a lot of fun and it's nice because she always calls me kind of a beer snob and there's enough <laughs> micro brews around and things around here now that Chambry's really getting into it. So it's kind of fun that you guys hosted so many locals here yeah, too. That was, that was really cool. Yeah, so. Exactly. You know, we are the environmental education uh, staff, and so we really wanted it to be educational. So I'm really glad to know it was and it didn't overpower you, that it was just a lot of fun. What party words would you say to somebody watching this little video clip because that's how it's going to be used? I would definitely say check the website, check your guys' um, the pamphlets that you guys put out because there are a lot of great events that I didn't even know about that you guys host, like the Dutch oven baking, the yoga classes. There's just so much you guys do here that seems such a great Absolutely. fit. I mean, it's, it's a quiet in the middle of all the hustle and bustle. Yeah. I work right next to the mall, so it's nice to step out and kind of get your head, and you did it in a really nice way, and there's just so many things going on. So I would say definitely... Get involved, get on the website, uh, get registered, I learned that, register with the Park District, <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, come have some fun. Yeah. Did you notice how many people were out on the trails tonight? You know, I was driving the gate or doing the behind the scenes stuff, and it seemed like there were just so many people out and about. I was yep. glad you were the special people, though. <laughs> so we're here at Spring Valley tidying up our program and enjoying some more beer around the campfire. So here we are, almost at the end of this first time, what we hope will be annual event. We're all sitting around the campfire. I don't know whether anyone has left yet or not, just enjoying the remnants of the beer and the bread, that both of these are important, and just enjoying the fire, waiting for an absolutely gorgeous sunset. Come out and join us. Spring Valley is the place to be.